Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is uh, my T-Max 2.5. Used to be a nitro. Now converted to brushless edition. I call it my E-T-Max. Uh, now I'm running a... Uh, this is all original. Original shafts, original parts. Original everything. Custom uh, racing chassis. The only thing I've done to it is I drilled a couple holes here for the uh, motor mount, a couple holes, screws here for the uh, battery tray. Other than that, it's completely stock RPM arms, you know, a little bit of aluminum here and there. It's pretty light. I think it's pretty light. I, com I compared it to the uh, Revo, and Revo's way heavy. Uh, I weighed this weighs with the batteries nine pounds, so. I think it's pretty fair, pretty cool. Not a huge motor, but it's a 2200 kV, uh, 540 can. You know, I'm pretty happy with the speed. I'm running a 72 tooth with a uh, 21 pinion, spur and pinion. Original transmission. Uh, I removed the reverse, made it uh, one gear. I removed the second, uh, sec the two speed conversion, changed that out, make made it a one speed. Got a 80 amp ESC hobby wing. Got a uh, in series cable built in. That's how I got it. I didn't even know it came with that, but uh, uh, you know now I got it. I can run four C's on it. Battery tray here is made of a uh, plexiglass that I uh, I cut out from an old speaker box. Pretty thick, pretty durable. I just put a little carbon fiber sticker over it and uh, voila, box was no good so I just kept this and uh, you know, made this little nice pad for it. Put some Velcros on it so I can uh, put Velcro on my batteries here like so. Have these sitting in, you know, these straps locked on, now I can put this on. I just, I need to solder on my Deans. Got my Deans plugs here, got to put in. Other than that, um, that's about it. You know, it's nice and smooth. Here's a switch, put the switch here. Also did a plexiglass with the, uh, with the ESC. The old steering, uh, the throttle servo used to sit there have the post there. I'm not sure if you can see them, but I kept those there. Put a little piece of plexiglass, velcro it on. You know, no problem. Does doesn't move. This thing rolls like crazy because on a full charge these batteries, this thing will just flip on its uh, back. I'm sure you've seen plenty of videos with that uh, of them uh, doing wheelies. Truck is pretty fun. Yeah, I did paint these. Got tired of the chrome chipping, whatever. I'll have a body on it soon. I got a, t a Toyota body. It'll be a wide and some TRD stuff in it for uh, any TRD people out there that know what's up. Uh, that's about it. Like I said, all original. Everything original except for, you know, little homemade motor mount, piece of aluminum. Unfortunately, it's not adjustable, so I did. I, when I made it, I made it just so it'll slip right on. And if I blow this out, you know, I get a new one for 30 bucks, 35 bucks, Hobby King. Uh, that's where I actually bought this motor used on eBay. And uh, it's been working great. I love it. And, you know, that's about it. I got everything else. Hope you like. If you have any questions, let me know. See what's up. Pretty simple, one speed conversion, T-Max. No more nitro, don't have to worry about that gas, the tuning, big mess, headache of, you know, more of a headache. Here's my battery tray. Slap this on, you know, pretty good. Nice and stiff, I put these straps on, it'll be, it'll hold pretty tight. Got room for my plugs, nice 4S. Pretty light. Love it. Thanks for watching.